All right, so today we're going to talk about Libra in astrology. This is applicable if you have any planets in Libra as well as any uh, houses. Well, you always have at least one house associated with Libra so you can see what uh, energies are coming through that particular area of life. So last time we talked about Virgo, which was about taking the more analytical approach to life, you know, seeing what needs to be improved, what needs to be embedded. And now along the journey is once we have that improvement energy, we then become aware of what's right. You know, like what what is the reason? What There's us improved, but in relation to what? Right. So this is where we come into Libra, which is about the energies of seeing that everything in life must be balanced, that we don't want to go to any over or under extremes of things. Um, and it's represented by the scales, which you can see very notably. So it's an air sign and it is associated with both uh, Venus and the seventh house. So in this regard, you know, especially with it being an air sign, it, you start to come into the awareness of not only the ideas, right? So we're talking about what is right. Like these are kind of not so much philosophical as much as they're conscientious, you know, and, and moral and just. And these are the qualities of um, of Libra. But also in terms of relationships, you know, just for who, for whom, you know, these kinds of things. So this is where relationships really come into the picture with Libra. And it's all about our, you know, relationship to someone else. So here, this is where the qualities of harmony and cooperation and things like that really uh, express themselves is through one person and another. So uh, that's a big part of Libra, you know, the relationship side of it. But um, all in all, you know, it is about having that harmony. So it could be with relationships, but it's all just uh, really about having that more moral and conscientious approach to life. So these are some of the qualities, you know, mutuality, right, can be seen through these planets. So, for example, if you have your son here, uh, through having that mutuality, that cooperative energy, you gain energy, which is the sun. Um, and, of course, if it's an area of life, you can see that, for example, if it's your third house, the way in which you uh, communicate or the things that you're normally involved with, with third house things like communication and learning and stuff like that, will likely be in this very cooperative or mutual nature. So mutuality, conscientiousness, uh, moral, just, cooperative, agreeable, it's a big one with Libra, impartial, right, doing the right thing. But that impartiality, impartiality is very important with this, right? It's like the judge. It's like we, we can see the objective truth and do the right thing based on the impartial facts. And of course, harmony too. So uh, those are all very strong qualities. Um, you can get more information on this from Venus. Venus does rule Libra. Uh, and the axes, Libra and Aries. Aries is opposite Libra. So Aries, if you recall, was very much about our own self-orientation, right? Knowing who we are and what we personally want. So here, to balance the Libra energies, which is very other-oriented and very airy, uh, to balance that, it's important that we know who we are. It's important that we pursue our own goals and do things that are important to us. So that's a good way of balancing out Libra energy. And um, also, if you have Aries, a lot of Aries energy or you want to balance that out, bringing in the cooperation can help balance out that more self-oriented energy as well. Now, it is cardinal. So here it's a very foundational aspect of life. You know, we have to have that moral approach. We have to feel like what we're doing is right. Right. And we also have to have relationships. Relationships form the foundation of our life in many ways. So that's one big aspect of it being a cardinal uh, sign. And of course, it's masculine because it is an air sign. So it is about the more proactive approach. What are we doing? So are we moral? Are we actually taking these steps? Are we interrelating? These are some of the things that can be seen also. All right. So that's uh, Libra in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys all next time.